What's going on guys? Radio Graffiti here. And today I want to talk to you guys about the new Paw Patrol movie, Paw Patrol The Mighty Pups. So yeah, I'm talking to you guys about a Paw Patrol movie. So keep in mind, this is just something meant for like five-year-olds. I'm not one of those that are in the camp of, oh, everything that gets made has to appeal to me. It has to be designed for me to always enjoy. Because believe it or not, there are a lot of man children that like to think animated movies are always supposed to be targeted for them. And it's like, no, they make a lot of these movies for actual children, believe it or not. But yeah, Paw Patrol the movie, the Mighty Pups movie. I really enjoyed it, man. I thought it was cute. I mean, it's a movie for kids. My kids enjoyed it. Uh, I like how this movie was more about Sky. The first movie was about Chase and him having to overcome his trauma over in Adventure City. And this movie, they show Sky always having this insecurity about being the smallest pup. They show her backstories. They show Chase's in the first film. So I like how all the Paw Patrol movies are about one of the different pups. We get Chase in the first one, Sky in the second one. So they make a third one, which I'm sure they will because this one made even more money than the first one already as far as opening weekend. I'm interested to see which pup they make the next movie about. Maybe it'll be Rubble or Marshall. See, I thought it was really cool seeing Sky be the main character of this film. I also like the addition to the new villain that we got. I don't think this character was ever in the TV show. And I watch the TV show a lot because my kids love Paw Patrol, so... I know Mayor Humdinger. He's like the Joker of this universe. That man is always up to trouble. They just need to put Mayor Humdinger in, like, a prison cell. Or they just need to execute him because that man is always up to trouble. He is no good. He is a threat to the city. He's a threat to these people. That man is a menace to society. They gotta do something with Mayor Humdinger. That man has got to go. Him and his little bad kitties, too. See, I was interesting seeing this new villain. She was a pretty good addition. I didn't expect to see her. I thought at first it was gonna be about Ladybird. Or they could have done um, Mayor Humdinger's nephew. But either way, I like the new character. She was interesting, cool, pretty funny. And as far as the pups, I mean, it's the usual stuff. They just do fun things. They just. Making bad jokes. Who cares? It's just a kid's movie. It's, it's cute. It's a fun time. I'm a parent. My kids had a fun time. So I'm sure your kids will have a fun time as well. You know, it's only like an hour and a half. It goes by really quick. It is another fun, cute adventure for Ryder and his pups. Hopefully we get several more of these because, I mean, kids eat them up. So why not? That's not hurting nobody. I thought it was really cool at the end of the film when the Mighty Pups, are like, they only have one crystal. And they just go back and forth switching the crystal. Like it goes from Chase to Sky. And then at some point Chase is just kind of giving the crystal off to all the other pups. Shows how good of a leader Ryder is that he's able to adapt throughout the fight to see, okay, who can help us the most in the situation? Okay, it's going to be Zuma. So then Chase goes and gives the crystal to Zuma. And then Zuma throws it to Sky or Rocky. And then Rocky catches a vehicle that the bad guy throws at him. You know, it's I thought that was a really cool fight at the end. And yeah, the Mighty Pups, this is something they did already in the cartoon years ago, where the pups got superpowers from the meteor. And obviously they changed the story a little bit to where now there's this new villain and she wants the crystals as well because she wants the meteors or whatever. I don't really know what she plans on doing with all this power or these meteors, but whatever, who cares? But it was still cool seeing it, I guess, on the big screen and a lot of people are now exposed to the Paw Patrol having powers through this. But yeah, superhero puppies. It was cute. I wonder if they're going to continue to have powers in the next film. It's kind of weird to me, though, how throughout the film they're like, Oh, well, I don't have superpowers. They're like, Oh, I don't have superpowers. So I can't go out there and fight the bad guys. And it's like, um, you guys have been operating without powers for the entire time. So why is it now, as soon as you get powers, they get taken away? And you're like, Oh, well, I can't do my job now. You've been doing this job for a long time without superpowers. Like, that's what makes all the pups unique. Chase is like the cop dog. Sky has the helicopter. She can fly. Marshall's a firefighter pup. You know, Zuma, he works with the water. Rocky, he's more of the tools pup. Rubble, he's got the construction. And Liberty is kind of there just to kind of be annoying. Honestly, she's kind of an annoying addition to the Paw Patrol. Sometimes she always has some kind of rude comment to make. I just don't really care for Liberty. I don't really know why she's here. She easily could have just went somewhere else for this movie. She didn't really need to be in this film. Then you get introduced to these three new dogs. The junior pups or whatever. They were cute. They were fuzzy and fun whatever so yeah the movie was adorable your kids are gonna love it it's gonna kill an hour and a half for you it's just fun go see it if you have kids or whatever so yeah have you guys seen the paw patrol monty pups movie are you gonna see it let me know what you think down in the comment section down below i thought it was a fun time with the film you know i thought the movie was a good time i'm not gonna sit here and try to nitpick it it's an animated movie i mean come on